Hello friends, today we're at River Falls Park, Weldon, North Carolina, and we're checking out the rockfish capital of the world. If you saw that fish, every spring thousands of fishermen dock flock to Roanoke River to catch their share of striped bass, also known as rockfish. You can see the rocks out there in the water, and you can also understand why it's called Roanoke Rapids as well. But today we're at the Weldon Boat Landing. The Roanoke River provides a spectacular rapids, which residents and visitors enjoy maneuvering with kayaks and canoes. Also boats. This area is also the location of the River Falls where one can sit and enjoy a beautiful afternoon relaxing, playing or having a picnic. Come with me on this visit to see some of the spectacular views and some of the details of this large boat ramp. It's capable of holding three launches at a time. It has a new floating dock which we'll get to in a few minutes. You get to see that. But it's really a steep ramp. Very steep. And it's not like a normal ramp where you pull up and then you can pull your boat over to the dock and tie it off. But here again we see the statue that says Weldon, North Carolina, the rockfish capital of the world. Some people may not believe that, but it's true. And why is it true? Because rockfish migrate from the northern part of Chesapeake Bay and, and up north, and it comes all the way down, all the way down they come in, to the Albemarle Sound. And then they swim up the Roanoke River hundreds of miles from the sound and they come up into this area and they spawn they lay the eggs and they mate and spawn then they return back and interestingly enough the males come up a couple of weeks before the females to make sure it's all safe for them God is so wonderful to create animals that can do these things. Yep, we're at the Weldon Boating Access Area, 1090 Rockfish Lane, Weldon, North Carolina. Okay, now we're going to walk over to the boat ramp or the boat dock area. What you do, you go down this steep ramp and you drop your boat off and then you pull your boat over here and tie it up, go park your truck and trailer, then walk back down to this dock and um, go fishing. You notice there's plenty of rocks in the water, but these rocks aren't the normal uh, rocks right around the edge of a boat ramp. I mean, there's boulders out there you can't see. There's just a few feet under the water. Some of them are a foot under the water. You can see the logs here. Uh, it'll create havoc on a, a fiberglass boat hull and engine props. So you got to be very careful, uh, especially the fall and winter time when things break off due to the weather. Again, you can notice the limbs. Sometimes whole trees are floating in the river downstream. And like I said, if you're not careful, it could tear a hole in your boat or it could tear your prop off or do some damage to your outboard engine. Again, you look out, the water looks calm and beautiful with the rapids flowing. And it is a beautiful, peaceful sounding scene. But lurking just below, you see that boulder? 
and there's other rocks that when the when the water is not so high you could see them and sometimes the water is higher than it is now because the dam will flow more water into the, this part of the river the dam is just upstream and those rocks will be covered sometime so again boating with a normal boat and engine uh, definitely you could uh, hurt yourself or hurt somebody on your boat or like I say damage your engine or knock a hole in your boat so I'm um, as pointing out rocks are definitely below but other than that you got a beautiful area for catfish uh, all different types types of fish are in here so please subscribe and thanks for watching and stick with me we're gonna bring you some more and better videos peace